Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how to create the custom REST APIs in WordPress. So let's start the tutorial. So let's, all the mic is good, okay. So let's, we are going to create the custom REST APIs, okay. So let's start with it. So we have this way, we have to create the REST API init function to get the define the route okay and the callback right so first of all let's going to uh, add the route over here and make it a get request okay copy this add it in our code okay so here we have added rest api custom rest apis endpoints so we have added this let's add this so you can add it over here whatever you want to add custom custom api v1 and it should be display customers you can see so we have to create this function So we need to create this function I'm just returning to something you can say uh, not much just simple JSON format and uh, if we have the options of this one also like this you can see that we have the here you can see that rest API init function and we have the hooks callback you need to pass the callback over here and you can see that uh, in my awesome function you can see that it, it is return the get post with the data ID. You can see that full expand code FMT return the post with the post title. So basically this API returns the post only. So you can return here we have a display the customers and you can return echo JSON encode message. custom API and after this we can put uh, exit so this is the endpoint of R so we can add it to custom API v1 so this is what to the endpoint so let's go to the plugin you can see that this one so I'm going to add Custom API V1 display customers. This is a get request. Okay. Little error they were showing. Let's see what exactly they are showing. Go to the WP config, open the development processor. Unexpected end of the file. Okay, what what we have done is the unexpected end of the file. So that is that is closing bracket here. It is not closed. Okay, anything else we have missed? The function expecting this basis. Let's check what exactly it is. So this is the braces with this one it needs to be added. That braces is this one is braces is missing. Okay now save it and now we are going to reload it. Custom API V1 display customers. should be showing I guess custom display permissions if I going to uh, if I'm going to add die whether this function is working or not let's see I think I haven't activated and deactivate the plugin may might be let's check it out go 
to the profit plus uh, plugins because I have added some new code over here deactivate activate preload why it's not working okay uh, let's see what it has written data author get return post title we have done the same i guess my plugin v1 and all that okay wp json okay, which we have i think missing might be so we need to add the wp json and see that messages create custom api done so that we have missing only the you can see the raw you can see the co uh, raw data headers json so whatever we have saved it is returning correct and in the documentation what they have written is that returning the some post so we are going to copy this one also no but they here here they are passing the id of the author so that they can getting the data accordingly so we are not going to fetch or the data accordingly right so this is a custom rest api you can see that here you have a message and here you can put the status code uh, here you can make the comma and put the status code status underscore code that is to be uh, that is to be 200 so this is how you can save and uh, reload this again so you can see that this is how you can draw this is the json format that we are returning right so this is how we can create the custom rest api and you can show the data accordingly and here you can also put the data and i'm making the custom data over here right so here the data we are going to make it in a custom way so let's create a dollar data equals to array so here I'm going to create the array name I'm always assuming as Rajnikan comma surname last name you can say last name I'm going to add uh, these two fields we have added let's copy this and bypass it okay. save it reload it you can see that raw data we have the data name and you can also put the put it whether it is valid json or not so go and check with the json length or uh, viewer so i'm going to validate this whether it is a perfect json that is used for the you can see that it's a valid json so you can uh, give through the front end to do the rest of the things right so we will uh, going to learn step by step uh, about the rest apis and all right so please be with us so we will learn much more much more we are going to expand the rest apis okay so because in the wordpress uh, you know that uh, whatever we have uh, like for the front end we have to generate the rest apis to manipulate the things right thank you so much for watching this video have a great day please do like share and comment